it over to Amber Lee now for a look at the forecast on this Monday morning. Amber, what are we dealing with? All right, so we're waking up to cloud cover and we did see a stray shower here and there across the region because of a system that we've been tracking. It really started to cool things down yesterday. So yesterday was our transition day. This morning we're still looking at the possibility of some drizzle being squeezed out of the clouds, but the bigger story right now are the winds. Take a look at our next weather live radar. So we do have a system that's pushing in all that cooler air and we could also see another uh, stray shower, maybe some drizzle as we head toward the latter part of the day. But as I mentioned, the winds are going to be the bigger story and the cooler than normal temperatures. We've been waiting for this last week. It was warmer than normal and now we're finally feeling more like fall. So with our next weather forecast, what we're watching for is, as I mentioned, cooler conditions. There will be a slight chance of drizzle and also some showers, but the bigger story will be these winds picking up. Wind advisories have already been issued gusty west to north winds, and then we have another chance to see more rain in the forecast. So things are really starting to change up our sky cam. You could see all the clouds up against the skyline. This is our downtown LA camp. As we wait for the sun to come up, grab the jacket before you head out the door and just bring your umbrella with you just in case. And then or if you can't find it, try and dig it out because you're going to need it later on. As I mentioned, that bigger chance of rain starts to move in later in the week. 57 degrees right now for Wrightwood, 58 for Palmdale, 60 for Burbank, 60 also for Riverside. And then as you head closer to the coast, we have upper 50s for Camarillo and also Malibu, 63 for LAX. Take a look at what happens for the second half of the day. We start to see these winds gusting up and they get a little bit stronger. And so this this is why those wind advisories have been issued ahead of all of this. So we start to feel those winds picking up even right along the coast. Even our beach communities are under a wind advisory. Long Beach, you're going to start to see gusts up to about 27 miles per hour by the evening. For the Huntington Beach area, we start to see these really gusty conditions also later on. But the strongest winds will be over the mountains and our desert communities. So Lancaster, you're going to start to see these gusts closer to 40 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon. See, this, these are all the areas, everything in brown that will be under this wind advisory. So that includes the valleys, some of the coasts, the high deserts, the mountains, and it's all because of this low pressure system that's moving to the north of us. By the end of the week, another bigger system starts to move in. By the weekend, it starts to drop closer to us. This is what's going to bring us more of that wet weather. In fact, we're looking at much more rain as we head into Saturday. So this is what we are tracking, and this is why you'll need your rain gear as we head into this upcoming weekend. But the good news for all the kids, Halloween is going to be a little drier, a little bit more mild, 72 for the Inland Empire on Thursday. And then here's a look at the valley, 72 today, warming up to the upper 70s just in time for Halloween.